a lot of times we have a system that seems to lose performance seems to act a little slower uh, one of the things that could be a problem could be background services that are either obsolete or no longer in use or not needed that are still going and a lot of times we just don't have the time in order to go through every single one of them and try to read them and figure out what they are or if you do take the time for every single machine that you're working on in order to deactivate these things turn them off disable them do what you have to do you can do this in the GUI and that's pretty much how most of the YouTube videos and documentation online goes but there is an easier way you can go into the command prompt and you can run a script that can actually automate that process by creating a batch file or a PowerShell script which will give you even greater control I'm not going to double the PowerShell right now but what I am going to do is I'm going to go into RDP to another system and we're going to take a look right here as you can see we have a bunch of services some are running some aren't but some have manual startup times some are set up to go automatically or automatic with a delay instead of going through each and every one of these which could be a real pain it's best to make a list of what you're going to try to get rid of and then create the batch file in my case for most of my systems I made a list of what I would most likely get rid of especially on a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 machine some of these also work on Windows 7 and Windows 8 systems but you're not gonna find these services with these names when you're actually going into into command prompt so when I make a batch file and I have to look that up and then it's gonna look a little like this where I'm gonna actually stop the app stop the service then I'm gonna disable the service rinse and repeat all the way down seeing this many if I had to do this for just one computer that's a pain if I have to do this for two it's annoying it's really annoying if I do have to do it for three or more I probably am gonna want to quit my job okay maybe not that far but you get the general idea so with that we are going to go and run this batch file which I just finished showing you run it as an administrator and we're going to expand this so you can get a better look as to how many of them were running and how many are not some of the services that weren't running it'll tell you otherwise it'll tell you whether it failed whether it got disabled whether it stopped and just keeps going and then press any key to continue gets us out of there now if we look here refresh we should see some changes on some of these disabled disabled let's see disabled a couple of others some of these things I can re-enable if I need to this one is running but it got disabled so that means on restart it's not coming back up but you get the general idea it's that simple anybody has any questions you can leave me a message in the comments or send a DM whatever works for you now have a nice day